Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was brought up in uh, some of the neighborhoods that I patrol, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting being able to come back and uh, working in those neighborhoods and kind of giving a little bit back to the uh, community and actually seeing some of the people that uh, you grew up with and how they changed and how some changed for the better and some changed for the worse. But, uh, it's good to work with some of them. Sometimes it's disappointing to see others. So, Maroon, Saturn, 11, 11, 9. Here are you. I'm trying to pull him over. He's been trying to avoid me for a couple of blocks. And, uh... Pull over. Four four two four. I got a twenty two. Four two four two th. North on one, approaching eleven. North on one avenue, approaching eleven street, behind Occupy. Looks like they just uh, going south on one court, approaching uh, ten now. It's a four-door Civic Honda, uh, that light green in color, that metallic green color. Vehicle's a four-door Honda Civic metallic green in color, southbound on one court. Occupants. Approaching Miami. I think we're going south on Miami from 11. Southbound on Miami Avenue, 11th Street. It's a four-door Honda Civic metallic green in color, occupied 22. 424, start sending me units over to 151 Avenue. They're going to bail out over at 151. They keep going around the building. Viking said he's possibly going to bail in the area of 15 Northwest 1 Avenue. 15 Northwest 1 Avenue. Units that are perimeter in the area 4424. Keep going around the building, back eastbound towards Miami. Back eastbound around the building towards Miami Avenue. Bailing out, bailing out. We're bailing out Miami Avenue and Street. Okay. Black male with a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. He's being tackled at a store here. Uh, get a unit to go inside that store. Get that unit to go inside that store. The unit that's at, uh, that just turned behind me. We're going to be going north on Northeast 1 from 10. Okay, there's uh, the, the black male. He has got a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. He's in the store. Uh, this guy's going north on Northeast 1 from 11. That guy looked like he had a gun or some dope on him. Going west on 836. He just threw something out the vehicle, man. This could be a 29 vehicle, okay? West on 836. Still inside the vehicle. West on 836. He just threw something from the window. 6 now. Approaching 95 north. I'm going to give you direction to travel in a second. He's going to go on 95 north. Go dual with Channel 1. Have a unit QRX on 62. Four, four, two, four. Got it? Okay, I got it. Hold on. 
24. 24. I'm reading 24. 4424. Did we get a unit at 451? Put in my car. 24. Why that over? 24. I can find one with How many? How many? 55 Looks like an armed armed robbery car. We're not sure yet. We got a bolo for an armed robbery car that this guy was in, and the other guy looked like he bailed out. 424. Green shorts, dark blue Tommy Hilfiger. It said Tommy on the back at the bottom of the shirt. He's got white high tops. He's got a beard. He's about 22 years of age, 5'11", 170. And he looked like he dropped either a purse or a gun on the floor or something dark that fell out of him. What's the female's name? It's possibly a stolen vehicle taken in an armed robbery or used in an armed robbery. We don't know yet. We're trying to ascertain, but the vehicle we have, the Bolo, was this one. And the uh, only thing we couldn't have was a tag. It's a paper tag. It's probably it. Hopefully, somebody got advised. We got a purse in it. And that's probably going to be the victims. 4320. Took this fence out here. Uh, looks like it took it out pretty good, too. Apparently, he hit the, uh, the grass over there. I didn't even think he hit a wall and spun out. Hit the fence, trying to beat me off the curve. Trying to speed up on the curve, but that little car couldn't handle it. Good thing nobody got hurt. Could have been bad. It was just him and the fence. The sidewalk a little, but uh, I guess that'll be all right. Being a cop in Miami is, is probably the same as uh, any metropolitan area in the country. We have probably different types of crimes, but it's it's pretty much the same as any big city. I enjoy it, and, and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. I, I look forward to going to work every single day. So uh, as, as long as I keep waking up and want to come back to work, I'll, I'll continue doing this job. This is Jack. It's in the area of Lejeune and about... Uh, we got a, uh, a report of an officer that spotted a, uh, a low jack hit. It's a, a, a stolen vehicle that's got a it's low jack equipped. Um, and apparently he spotted the vehicle in the area of, uh, in the northwest area of the uh, city. So we're going to go and look for it now. It's a uh, red Volkswagen. Uh, low jack is a uh, vehicle recovery system that uh, basically uh, transmits a signal when the car is reported stolen uh, automatically when they put it in the uh, NCIC, FCIC computer, it activates the uh, low jack signal from the vehicle. The vehicle's moving now uh, in the area of, uh, in the same area. Forty-one twenty off. I'm coming uh, eastbound. Carex, Carex, hey, stop! Forty-one twenty off. He's running uh, westbound. Uh, he's approaching Four Four Avenue. Give so. White male, cool hat, black shirt. Forty-one twenty. Yo, we got him. Are you stomach? Oh, yeah. It is too late to do it. Study, study, please. Go ahead and handcuff. Don't put that. Which building you have him in front of? Here, X a minute. Where are we? Let me get the QTH. What is the building? It's not that difficult. Advise us a white building. Units are 2H only for the 120s advising of the QTH. What's the address? 4120 Alpha. Alpha. Advise that we're in the building where he ran into. We got him in custody now. Can you advise me to get up? Get up! Get up, man! Let's go, man. Oh. 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 Uh, see if there's a unit that 
can go back to where my car is at. I left it over there running. They can go back to where 7330 uh, vehicle is at. Yeah, we, uh, we uh, finally had the vehicle moving that we were looking with the low jack. Apparently, uh, when the, we tried to make the, the felony stop, he uh, decided to take off running from us. And uh, we had a foot chase about a block or and a half or so where we uh, finally apprehended him. So uh, he's going to be charged now with uh, Grand Theft Auto and uh, resisting arrest also. It's comforting to catch him at least. Watch your head. So. Watch your head. Dude, I, I thought I, I lost my transmission. I, I my you car's guys? still around the corner. I see you guys running. I hear my car's guys? still around the corner. Came around the back. I said, oh, there goes my transmission. <laughs> Yo quería pararlo a ver si, si I knew he was going to run. Yeah, but he don't he had time and he tried time for Pero yo sabe Yo sabe cuando lo vi salir que es un gordito dije, ah, ese es mío, ese es mío. Lo cogí aquí atrás. No, I know because when I ran into the back of the building, he right. backed track on you, ran right into you. Yeah. You know? And I have a case. Okay. Yeah, my car's still over there. Let's go back home. When the other sergeant went around the uh, side of the building, he saw the sergeant and backtrack right into me again uh, immediately. So that's, that's, you know, at least we had uh, good uh, teamwork there. And that's how we catch these guys. They got the passenger over there. We'll have them bring them over now. Okay. So I, I had a feeling there was a passenger. When was the data theft on this? What's that? When was the data theft on this? Oh, it was, it was stolen yesterday. What happened was uh, yesterday? we picked it up and then I came over to open up. And it's still, yeah. yeah, it's still, still, it's still on the, uh, still, uh, the number's still lit on there. They want to. Okay. The, uh, EP4YA. It shows up on the low track. Yeah. Hey, the steering column was broken. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see. Look at the screwdriver right there. I'm looking for light here. It smells like reefer, so he was probably, uh, it's probably high. Oh, that's where he was. Oh, I knew the way the car was parked, that it was going to move again. He was going right back to where you spotted him. Yeah. Well, the, the car was uh, reported stolen yesterday on the 11th, so we probably recovered it within 24 hours. So that's, that's good as far as... Uh, Lojack is concerned. They want to recover cars quickly. At least somebody will be happy. They got their car back. Right now we've got a uh, attempted suicide that we're going to. Uh, subject supposedly uh, shot himself in the head. Uh, we got some units arrival now. They're requesting rescue, so we'll find out when we get there. I think three, three minutes before rescue gets there. Sound report 09, 39, 21, 47. In the court. We've got everybody here. Oh, well, there's Connie Day. She's SOS. Sure off. Uh, yes, man. Where's the scene? Right inside. He's still conscious and breathing. And hey, who is it? It's, 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 it's this guy that I've been dating. Oh, not sure. All right. Okay, um, where's the lady that 
scene right now. If you guys want in, come on. There's some in my car and the traffic in here. Connie, you want to just make sure these people don't uh, come on in? Keep these back. I need her. Yeah, I got it hanging right there. I'm going to tape it off as soon as I, can, I uh, let these guys get in. Okay. I don't want you to do right now. I don't want you to talk to anybody else. I want you to just stay here with me. Yeah. You got the weapon? It's on the couch. It's on the couch. It's laying on the couch. I wanted to leave it there, but I wanted to leave it here. Okay. Is Steve still in there with it? Yeah. No, he's in there. I just want to make sure you got the weapon. I don't have the weapon. It's on the couch. It's like down in the side, in the scene. I didn't know that he had the gun. If he, if he had the gun, I would have told him, what are you doing with the gun? You know what I mean? He just, he came, they just got here five minutes ago. His brother dropped them off. He wanted to come and he said he wanted to stay here tonight. They get around. And I said, if you want, you can stay here. And then he kept telling me, I feel like killing myself. Why did he say he wanted to kill himself? I got he didn't say nothing. I just heard him say, I want to kill myself, I want to kill myself. And, when I, and he just, it just happened. I just heard it, and I turned around. And you don't know where he got the gun? I didn't you ever see him come in. I didn't see him come in. I was, as soon as he got in, he just sat down, and I was with the children. I didn't even, I didn't even. Were the kids in the back room? They were in the room. And he said it's you, he wanted to kill himself, wanted to kill himself? I heard him say it when I was watching dishes. I was turned back, and, and he just That's did it. He bang? said it, and he did it. Was he doing any dope in there? I don't know. It looked like he was. I'm yeah. I mean, you didn't see any, any dope on him? No. Does he normally do dope? Or? Yeah, he does. Was anybody else in the room? What does he do? Drugs and He just did it. Was anybody else in the room with him when he shot himself? It was just me, him, and Who's this guy? I thought Lito was in the bathroom, but he says he was in the kitchen, too. Right now, it's, it's unsure. She has a boyfriend who's a victim who comes and goes from time to time. He has another girlfriend somewhere else. He come over here tonight, possibly on some type of uh, drugs. If I, you know, he wants to kill himself, I want to kill myself. And she was in there with her kids, and he shot himself in the head one time with a uh, looks like a 357. 200. You need to get me a roll this by tomorrow. That guy saw everything. Best friend. He said the guy's real been depressed. His wife left him like a week ago. He's been doing drugs. Can you tell, um... What, what do you want? I mean, your kids are next door, right? Yeah. All right. I'll, okay, I'll go right. tell them. Just, just roll. let them put them in bed over there. You understand? If you need anything, ask me, okay? I'm, but I'm don't be talking to none talk of these you. people don't coming talk. around. My name's Detective Lee. I don't want you talking to anyone else. Hey, her youngins in there? Her kids in there? Yeah. Hey, listen. Listen, guys. You guys stay over here tonight, all right? Put, uh, put them in bed in here tonight, you understand? Well, until she's done. Oh, they get okay. tired yeah, of yeah, yeah, They right. can't yeah. come over here tonight, okay. you understand? Yeah, okay. So they got to stay in here, yeah. all right? She has kids in the house, and the baby that you saw on the couch. They're in the other room. This guy, you know, he, he should be responsible for at least the kids, too. And I mean, that's going to affect them the rest of their lives, you know? We're stepping over a guy that's just been shot in the head. He's deceased at this time. He's, you know, they've got him on all the uh, life support systems. Uh, he could be a, a donor of some sort, so that's why he's, he's being airlifted right now to Jackson. Uh, at different spots in the city where they airlift. Which is kind of nice, but it's pretty close. 23, 26 years old. Shame, man. He's gonna die. Oh, they said he's dead. He's just, uh, he's just, just a don uh, organ donor right now. They keep him alive. Okay. Don't take him long to get out of here. Yeah, they'll be up in Jackson. He's cranking up now. He's ready to go. He came over to his girlfriend's house and said he wanted to kill himself. She, I reckon, didn't believe him. He'd been doing, you know, a lot of dope. And, Took a gun out, shot himself once in the head. I mean, it's a shame he's only 26 and his life's over as we speak, you know. He's literally dead right now, just being held together by machines until he gets to the hospital and make that determination on whether to keep him alive or unplug him. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514, can't transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 